Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on part three of our sunshine bright blanket. Gorgeous and you know what this means. This means join as you go. Check it out. What? <laughs> there are 16 pieces here plus one 17. When you finish this tutorial, this is where you will be at. And then you will head off on your own and do the next five rows. Well, not including this one. So you've done your two rows. You'll do the next five rows because we've got eight blocks lengthwise and seven blocks widthwise or whichever way you want to work it. But I worked it with eight blocks. And as you can see, it's it does look a little tricky but it's not now if you're joining us new and you struggle with this join don't stress uh, in a few weeks time or in a week and a half time I will upload a couple of different joins that you can use for your blanket that way this doesn't confuse you too much but I love this join because it's got a gorgeous look and guess what I have only used one thread all the way through this and look at this I still have oh, I just drop stuff there you didn't see that or hear it <laughs> I still have all this left the way it's looking I may end up not having to change my yarn or cut my yarn at all um, throughout the whole middle section of the blanket or at least three quarters of the way towards the end I'm, I'm thinking right towards the end that yarn will be enough to get me through the join as you go seriously it's just fantastic join this one I love 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 now um, what you will need for your join today you will need 16 squares okay we are working on the first eight then we're going to do a little u-turny thing and then we're going to work on the next eight coming back this way as well and we're going to start doing the next eight but you don't need to see me do that next eight because that next eight starts from here. So all you need to do is go back to the time on that one there, which I will pop up um, the little time thing up the top when you get to this area. I'll pop the time as to where it starts and then you can just keep going over and over again until you finish all seven rows of your eight squares. All right, because it's seven times eight. Now let me show you that image that we first started off with a long long time ago if you remember there were seven that way eight that way we've done our first two eights well I have and you're going to be done after this tutorial as well so you would only need to do another five rows and that's it that's all I want to tell you really you will need contrasting yarn it's entirely up to you what contrast yarn you use I used a cream or a pearl in this case this is called Stella Pearl this is actually I believe the Stella range is a no longer made through uh, Bendigo Woolen Mills however I'm still using I got so much of it in stock it's not even half funny so I'm still using that you will need uh, your scissors your crochet hook and your darning needle but get this you don't use your scissors or your darning needle throughout this tutorial at all unless you're like me and you still have these little green ends and you need to weave them in which you will obviously at the end of your blanket if you have them okay uh, I didn't I'm going to do that once I finish uh, this next row and then because my other squares are washing and blocking as we speak and um, while they're washing and blocking I'm going to weave in all these ends and I will see you on Saturday mornings live at 10 a.m or Wednesday afternoons live at uh, 4 p.m. Melbourne Australia time that is by the way to discuss the join as you go and if anyone had any issues that they wanted to talk about I also mention in this video if you cannot do this stitch and you're finding it very very difficult you're new and you're struggling with it don't stress again I state in a week's time I will do some other joins for you a couple of different joins and you can go ahead and do your own join okay that's one thing the other thing was one of the squares I actually had a white border on and I mentioned it already that was one square we did at the very very beginning of our um, sunburst square when we first made it I made a mistake 
<laughs> sorry <laughs> I do mention it in this tutorial I show you what you need to do to take it undone sorry guys <laughs> I think in the end I got really frustrated and ended up cutting mine off <laughs> as you do but um, I've forgotten what design I used for the join as you go I went and checked my pattern thought oh no that's the wrong design so I wanted to use the same design as the blanket that we used for Tandy Farm yarn okay that's all I wanted to say really I did mess up and I do apologize there so you'll only have one mistake that's just one square with um, the white border on so you have to take that undone sorry guys sorry 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 but that's it oh I'm going the, you know what I'm going the wrong way I should go this way so you can see in the picture yeah how gorgeous is this join now uh, joining in the middle here uh, a lot of people do it differently than I do this is my version of it hopefully you find that a little bit neater I find the other version used to leave a massive gap under here somewhere now I've worked out a way to slip stitch in through a chain as well to keep that gap from happening okay and if you are joining us new and you haven't started this blanket I will leave a playlist in the description box down below and it will be actually part one only in the playlist at the moment as well as this part here part two joining as you go but part one is creating your squares it talks a little bit about the blanket and creating your squares and you need to create 56 sunburst granny square to do the rest of our blanket okay um, what else can I say nothing much uh, part two is the join as you go as you see right here part three we will be finishing off our join as you go you need to head off on your own after this part and do the rest and then meet us back here Thursday week and we will do the final part of our blanket also at the end of this tutorial there's a five minute maybe three to five minute worth of quick no voice just me showing you how to do washing and blocking a couple of squares using vinegar um, to soak our squares all right and that's it guys I'm not going to talk anymore the tutorial does go for a long time uh, all you need to do now is head off on your own and do join as you go for your sunshine bright blanket good luck alrighty guys just before we start crocheting our squares together I just wanted to show you the difference between a blocked square a non-blocked square and a blocked square like the blocked squares are perfect let's have a quick look we'll pick one up check that out it's all out of shape it's all sticking up everywhere check the one right underneath it perfectly flat no matter how you sit it it's perfectly flat so that's the difference now what happens is when you are crocheting two pieces together okay this just could be me being fiddly you know finicky whatever <laughs> when you are crocheting two pieces together if they are laying flat right beside each other sorry about the lighting there guys then it's easy to get your hook through like this but when you're like this you have to pop your hook in there oh, sorry about the big hand let's try this way so when you're like this when you want to pop your hook in that one there you've got to pop your hook in there and then you've got to really bend this over even now it's struggling to work to find the right stitch but if you were to do your flat one, all you're doing is popping your hook in there and grabbing your flat one like that. So it just, there's no right or wrong way. I mean, you don't have to wash and block. Washing and blocking your squares does make it easier to work in when you are crocheting your squares together. All right. So really a join as you go. It really helps you with it. It does look neater. I mean, look at that. I know I've left my ends in. Yes, I did wash and block with the ends. I did. I did. I did. Um, that's just, again, once again, me being a bit odd because I actually crochet over my tails and then I weave them back through where I've crocheted over. All right. That's not necessary for you to do. That's just personal. But blocking, I think, is really, really important. And I use the vinegar, by the way, everyone, for those of you who are wanting to know. And I will show you the blocking and what I did at the end of this tutorial, just in case you wanted to wash and block your squares first. Um, I just popped it at the end of the tutorial because not everyone likes to wash and block. All right, so right now, before we start crocheting our squares together, I'm just going to pop a time limit right there. That's the time you need to go to if you want to wash and block your squares. In the meantime, the rest of us, if we are ready to join as you go, let's get started with joining our squares. 
Good luck, everyone. Alrighty, guys. What you should have at the moment is, uh, you may have remembered that, you know, really messy drawing I did <laughs> in part one of how many squares you will need. So initially, you should have 55 squares plus one square with a white border on already or cream or whatever you want to call your color now i messed up we didn't really need that one on there <laughs> i do apologize so that is actually wrong but we can sort that out later all righty guys for this part of the tutorial you'll need two four six eight squares okay and let me just show you a quick drawing again this is not i'm no artist <laughs> <laughs> try not to judge me on this I oh, know we'll go this way it's better you can see better all right these are your eight squares well here there's only what one two three four five just pretend there's eight okay use your imagination <laughs> we're going to start from oh I'm already being naughty sorry we're going to start from the very first corner which is right here the way this pattern works which is the reason why I messed that up <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking of with that one. But anyway, you start crocheting all the way up this way. That's all. Then you do your corner like normal. And then you crochet all the way across this way. Do your corner like normal. Then you come back down here. You don't complete this side. All right. You do like a little U-turn thing. So you're only doing half your corner. I'll explain that to you during the tutorial. Then you go back down this way, joining your squares. Bad picture. Sorry, guys. Then you do a full corner. You don't join this side. Okay. And then we'll go back down that way and do exactly the same. All right. Now, all you need to remember in this tutorial is, for starters, I should not have done that bit there. <laughs> there all you need to remember is on one side you are joining on the opposite side you aren't now i'll explain that throughout the tutorial so you'll see it anyway but uh just trying to give you some sort of a mental image there before we start get two pieces like so yeah now to find out what the right side is to the wrong side is you need to face your piece to you and see these little V's that you can see are right on top. If you're holding it like that, this way, and you see the V's, then that's your right side of your work in this particular pattern. Okay, it doesn't always work with all patterns. Then turn it over and look for your V's. Your V's are all the way at the back there. That means this is the back side of your work now we want to work on the right side so pop your square in front of you if you see the v's facing you then that's your right side of your work i hope that helped now pop your second uh, piece out the way grabbing your first piece okay now you can pop your hook in any corner you like i'm just going to pop one in right there and I'm just going to grab some thread. I've made a mess. I pulled some out before, but I made a mess. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> so just grab a tail end. And let me bring this up a little bit. And just pull it through, like normal. Okay, you don't need to do this part if you don't want to. But I like to cross my yarn forward for the first cluster set. And hide this tail. I'll still weave it in later anyway. <laughs> I know I'm a little pedantic like that. So you're chaining one now you know how to do that because you've done a full square chain two and chain three and then you place your stitch marker in that chain three section right there now the reason is right there in that little stitch the reason is because this stitch here you won't be coming back to it until the last square that you attach okay until the 56 square but in the meantime we're going to put two double crochets in your corner one and two and then we're going to chain two one and two and three double crochets in the corner one two and three all right just pop that tail at the back okay now it's easy to miss this first space and they look relatively close so make sure you get in there with a single 
cluster set. That just means three double crochets, okay? So when you hear me say a single cluster set, it means three double crochets. We use the jargon, guys. That's the actual uh, jargon that's used on the written pattern, which will be coming out on my website when it's up and running. Yay! The website will be up and running this Saturday. Yay! Get excited. But the pattern won't be up and running until maybe a couple of weeks later, all right? So pop a single cluster set in your next space. One, two, and three single cluster set in your next space one two and three so you've got one two three single cluster sets just grabbing that tail at the back if you've got one otherwise just continue with your fourth cluster set try that again <laughs> one hello two and three. You know what? Let's take that undone. I'm not happy with that. Sorry, guys. We'll do that again. You know when you're not happy? <laughs> I'm very fussy. Two <laughs> and three. All right. So you have one, two, three, four single cluster sets. Yes. In the corner, you're going to put a double cluster set. And that double cluster set is just three double crochets one two and three chain one and two turning and doing your three double crochets all in the same corner two and three now you're going to pop a single cluster set in your next space so one set in there two and three and one set in your next and so on and so on okay so let me show you what you're doing here so you understand it all right this is what you're doing where's my little sheet there it is so far this is what you've done okay you started there worked all the way up to the first corner and now we're going to head around and go to the next corner. All right. So we're not going to worry too much about that yet. We will in a moment. Oh, that's not. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not your crochet hook. <laughs> oh, I kept them too close. <laughs> that was funny. Mm, I'm going to leave that in just for fun. All right. So you need to pop a single cluster set in your next space. <laughs> I've been working too hard, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, three double crochets and then your single cluster set in your very next space and it's a bit tricky to see that one but it is there one <laughs> two and three all right let's get down to business Mary stay focused <laughs> okay and in this one here the corner remember we're putting a double cluster set of three double crochets two and three chain one and two and three double crochets one two and three all in the same set one set or one cluster set i should say in your first space it's very basic this this is a basic granny that you're doing now another set in your next space one two and three and another set in your next space we're almost there to the corner where all the magic's going to start happening and another set All right, and now we have our corner. All right. So in this corner, we're only going to put our three double crochets, not a full set, just a three double crochets. One, two, oops, two, 
and three. This is what happens when you rush it. <laughs> I'm rushing. I just want to get you started and on your way. All right. Now, for this part, okay, let's get our little piece of paper back again. We are now officially there. All right. This is where the join is going to happen. So you need to grab your hook. Yes. Grab another square. Remember to check that it's the right side facing you. Yes. Um, you can join any way you like, but stay consistent. You're going to chain two, one and two, like you would any normal corner. Then you're going to grab this other corner, a little bit awkward to, to start with. Let me bring that up a bit so you can see. All right, a little bit awkward to start with, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy. So you're going to do a normal double crochet in that corner, like so, just one. Try not to leave this stitch too loose, the one we just did, the join. And your second double crochet. And your third double crochet. All right. And you should officially have that look there. It should look like, let me take that out for you so you can see. It should look like that. All right. So it looks like they're facing each other, which they are. Okay. When um, we finish all our squares and all 55 squares, I'm lying, let's try 56 squares <laughs> are together. Come on, Mary, get with it. At the end, we're going to be crocheting around here and we're going to be filling those two corners up. But in the meantime, we're going to keep going. Well, let's bring that up a little bit. All right, so opposite your work is that space right there. All right, so pop your hook in that space. Yes. Pulling a loop through the space and the loop on your stitch at the same time. Try not to leave that loop too loose. You know, tighten it up a little bit. Don't pull it real tight, but tighten it up a little bit. Then you're just going to jump straight into your very next space of the square you're working with, with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so what you have there is a join right there. All right, now you're going to go to the opposite side, the corresponding space, pop your hook in and pull the loop through to the loop, it's through the space and through to the loop on your hook, just giving everything a little tug. Again, you don't want it to be too loose. And then you're going to jump straight into your next space with your next set of three double crochets. Okay, corresponding space. You're popping your hook in. Let me get you a nice close up when we do this so you can have a quick look at it. You're grabbing your loop, you're pulling it through the space and through to the loop on your hook. All right, I hope that helped. And the rest, we're just going to do like normal. Jump into your next space with your three double crochets. Two and three. Next space, pull the loop through. Might help if you just, you know, give everything a bit of a tug there and then just keep going. Don't pull too tightly again. It, you know, it'll look weird. But don't leave it too loose because you have as massive gaps in between, which I'll show you in a minute. And corresponding space there. Pull your loop through. Now we are hopping into our corner. You're going to start your corner with your three double crochets. One, two and three. All right, so I want to show you quickly what you need to do from here just giving everything a gentle tug and look how gorgeous that stitch looks i love it so much all right so this is where you're at all right you've gone you've gone up across uh, that's blurry isn't it sorry guys let's try that okay you've gone up and across no that's no good either <laughs> up and across and down up and across and down we turned right you've gone back up this way joining as you go 
Now, when you get to the top part here, you're going to just turn. That's all you're going to do. Okay? All right, I'm bring that out and get rid of this for now. If this paper part is just to, to start you off. Once you get it, you, you'll get it. Okay? So now we are... Again, we said, what are we going to do? We're just going to turn. So it's chain one and two. And then we're just doing a normal corner on this side of your work. Okay, the opposite side we need to join, but this side we're not. Okay, so that's the side we join. This is the side we don't. Okay. And now you're just popping a normal cluster set in this space. All right, now grabbing your little stitch marker, popping it in this corner right here. All right, I want you to just go ahead, get to this corner, don't do the corner, get to your very last space there, and I'll meet you there in a moment. You should be right there, which you are. Take this little stitch marker out. Okay, let's get a nice close up finish off this corner now with this corner here remember on this side we are joining okay this side we're not joining but this side we are so you are doing your three double crochets in that corner one two and three and then you're going to chain one and two yeah pop your work down like so grabbing another square like that all right easy grabbing your hook you're doing a double crochet in that first corner you come to remember did you check to make sure your square was the right side there's your first double crochet and your second and your third so if you notice in this round you are not actually finishing your corners here you're stopping your corners halfway you're going to be finishing those corners way at the end of the 55 squares this is going to be the last section you do okay you don't get it now but you will later join your work like you did before you're joining with a slip stitch into that first corresponding space you see yes and now you are doing a double crochet in the first space. I'm lying. You're doing three double crochets in that first space. Two and three. All right. And over there, you're joining with your slip stitch. So you are doing exactly the same thing that you did on the other side. You're doing to this square right here. Two and three I'm just going to give that a bit of a tuck so I didn't pull that out properly there you go that's better that can happen sometimes just be weary go to the opposite side pulling your thread through just give it a bit of a shake and that stops that from happening okay and now you just well, I should know that because I've done this so many times before one two and three there are many ways of joining your squares this is one thread through the loop and now we're at the corner right there so what you're going to do is start your corner one two three now remember this is the corner where we're not joining so you're chaining your two one and two and you are doing your three double crochets two and three all you're doing is continuing in your very next square with 
your not square try space with your three double crochets all right check that out give everything a little bit of a tug and trust me it will all fall into place how gorgeous does that look so far looks like we spent hours sewing these pieces together because it takes forever to sew together doesn't it and guess what i just did reached over and grabbed another square because that's what we're going to do next easy but before we do pop your little stitch marker in that corner all right get to that stitch marker right there and i'll meet you up and show you again for the last time what <laughs> so pop your little stitch marker there get to that section there and i will meet you up in a moment all righty here we go this is what you should have there you should now officially be oh, let me grab that out there <laughs> you should now officially be like that you've done your one two three one two three we are now on to our fourth so you're going to turn around and do your fourth now you should know how to do this because we've already done it but i'm going to show you anyway let's take out our stitch marker like so and popping your first double cluster i'm sorry your first <laughs> cluster set in there of three double crochets two and three now remember this is the corner that we are joining okay so you're chaining one and two yes grabbing your new square making sure that you have checked that it's on the right side and mine is uh, you know how to do that now so you're going to grab your double crochet and start it in the corner of your next square which is one two and three okay so you should be familiar with what you're going to do here now you're going to go right to that opposite space pulling your loop through just giving it all a bit of a tug there making sure you didn't leave it too loose or too tight and then you're just going to do your normal cluster set in the next space super duper easy all right so now you're going to Go into the opposite space like that, grabbing your thread and pulling your loop through like so. And cluster set in your very next space. One, two, oh, that's too loose. Let's try that again. Two and three. Go into the opposite space being careful making sure you're getting the opposite space and double crochet in your next set one two and three opposite space and cluster set one two and three okay now opposite space one last time before the corner that is not period <laughs> jump into your corner space with your three double crochets chain one and two now remember what we do here we don't join we do our three double crochets one two and three pull up the loop why i hear you ask well you know why you've done this before you've done this one two three times before okay so what are you going to do you're going to grab your next square you're going to head off on your own <laughs> you're getting scared aren't you you're going to do all your squares except for the last one all right so what you have here is one two three four five six and seven on your eighth square pop a stitch marker there okay don't do it put it aside do all of these squares okay right here 
and meet me back here in a moment. <laughs> it's going to be a moment for me and like, you know, so long for you, but it was so long for me as well. Um, trust me. So go ahead and do exactly what you've done here to these three squares. One, two, three squares. And then meet me back here for the last one. Don't even start the last one. We're going to do that last one together. All right. So go ahead, do your next three squares and I'll meet you back here in a moment. Good luck, guys. How'd you go guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And here's our eighth one. And I've lost my little hook there. Um, you know what? Let's just get that right up there. That way you know where we're up to. Alright, so there I'm gonna fold these over because they just, you know, they'll make a mess and oh, I'll just make me all uncomfortable. <laughs> Alright, so leaving your square there, okay. Let's finish off this corner. Well, you probably didn't need to see me do the corner because you've been doing it, you know, all along throughout your work. Now, making sure that one side is joined and the other side is not. Yes? Okay. All right. Now. Okay, we're just going to pop our double crochet set in there. Just one. A single set, that is. All right, and then you're going to chain your two for your corner. So it's one and two. Is that too close? Yeah. All right. Now, like normal, you are going to join this square anywhere you like. Doesn't matter what corner. I'm just staying consistent with my tail ends in front. They'll end up at the back of the work, like the last row. And you're joining like normal. Whoops. I said like normal. Get it right, Mary. And two and three. I'll tell you what I am going to do. Move some of this out of the way because that is just going to annoy the videoing that better. I think it is. All right. Now, once again, you are joining like normal. Just for one side. Okay. So, oops. That's a half double. Don't do that. <laughs> Just join like normal. Three. Now I'm just going to pick up speed on this area here just until we get to that first corner for you. Okay, we're joining like normal and then we're going to start our corner like normal one two and three chaining one and two then you're popping your three double crochets in there like normal one two and three it's so far the same as every round yes until we get to the end of this side and I'll explain that to you in a minute just keep popping your cluster sets across when you get to this next corner coming up don't complete it okay so let's keep going and three and one let me bring that out a bit so you can see what I'm doing one without getting dizzy <laughs> two and three last set before the corner or one two and three all right what i want you to do hop in the corner do the first cluster set which is three double crochets and then stop there and we'll talk about what we're going to do next and three just leave it like that for now all right what you should have at this stage is Get this piece of paper here so you know what you're doing uh, we're going back that way down around let's just pretend we did all eight squares all right when we get to our eighth square all right you've done that yes all the way across everything's the same everything's the same until we get to the eighth square like that move everything out the way so you can see because with the eighth square we are now going to start joining 
our squares. Let's grab a couple. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Did you see that fly? I went to grab it with my hand and it just flew everywhere. So let me move these tails out of the way so it doesn't confuse you. All right. Now we're going to start joining this way and coming across this way, joining one side to one corner, not going up, just keep going across all our eight squares the other way. Now it does look a little tricky, but all you have to do is remember the diagram. Okay, let me bring that up. Okay, you went up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. You got to this corner. This is the final row. This just pretend this is the eighth square and not the fifth. <laughs> but this is the eighth square. Now you're going to go that way. With this part here, I'm going to be moving my work because it's going to be awkward for me to crochet all at once. But let's just pretend that we have one, which we have, that we're going to join on that one, which we are. Grabbing your work and just turning it that way. Okay, pop your hook back into your work, okay, that you were working in. You're chaining two like normal. Oh, let's blow that up. I might just roll this up. It's a little bit too much there. Chaining two like normal, one and two. And you're going to do a normal cluster set in there, like so. So your normal three double crochets, one, two. That again two and three this is where it's going to start getting a little awkward because your piece is growing and you've got a lot of pieces to move around okay so remember this you're not going this way anymore you're going back the other way so from here there's your get it right Mary from there there's your opposite section there mm, this is blocking off all the light Alright, so all you're doing is starting your opposite side. So it might help to just move your work back around again, like so. And there you go. But you're not going to complete this side. Remember there's a space right there. You're not going to complete the whole square. You're only going to go to the corner and then I'll explain what we're going to do next. Popping your slip stitch again like normal. This part is normal. This doesn't change. Two and three. And one in there. Pull a loop through. One, two, and three. And pop your slip stitch through again and in your second last space or the space before your corner two and three all right now pop it in your second last space of your opposite side so this part actually is no different except when I lose my stitch that's a little different <laughs> all right so now let's get a nice close-up, okay? This is where we are at the moment. You're still going to jump into your corner with three double crochets. So one, try double Mary, not half doubles. <laughs> Two, and three. And here, you're going to chain one only, because normally we would chain two. All right, so now, Let's have a look at what you have. You have three corners here, okay? You have your one, two, and three. We're halfway through our third corner. Now, see your normal slip stitch, you're going to slip stitch into a corner, but not into this corner here, into the corresponding opposite corner, right opposite. Oh, let's try that again, I've just lost my stitch. Don't forget to chain one, <laughs> I just lost it. Now we're going to skip. Now we're going to skip the first corner and jump into your second corner if that helps you. Doing your normal slip stitch in the corner. You're making sure it's tight enough. Chain one. And don't go anywhere because this is where you're going to grab your very next square. 
we're not going up this way no for this side we are going all the way along there on the way back we will fill up this section but for now all you're doing is joining your very next square so you're skipping your corner here completely let me show you a nice close-up all right skipping this corner well you started the corner but now you're just going to do a normal double crochet being careful not to leave all this too loose if you leave it too loose you're going to see lots of gaps and all sorts of weird things so tighten it up a little bit okay so we're going to jump into the first corner I'm sorry let's try the second corner <laughs> first corner of the next square how's that <laughs> doing the cluster set three double crochets pulling up your loop so you can have a look at what you've done all right so what you did was you went into the opposite corner you didn't touch this corner it looks like it's not finished it will be finished later when we come back around from this corner here we will be jumping straight into there all right but in the meantime you're going to continue along the sides like you would normally do so just jumping into there all right now uh for newbies if you are struggling with this join because it can be oh, it can be a little tricky um and you could you know there's a lot of you can kind of have to practice it you know it's a little bit tight a little bit loose stitches are all over the place you need to practice it a little bit so don't be sad if you need to take it undone and do it again if by any chance you are struggling with this join and you just don't want to do it then join me in about a week's time we're going to be doing a different or a few different joins that you can actually use to help you out all right um, it won't be um, as long as the blanket is today it'll be in small pieces so maybe with four squares rather than you know all eight of them I don't want to use all our squares up for that so there you go all right so we'll be showing you a couple of different joins in about a week's time so get ready for that guys for those newbies who are struggling with this join personally this one is a lot easier than the one that we have done in the past and the one we've done in the past um, it's a join as you go as well but it actually you are joining in each stitch instead of joining just in the spaces you're joining in each stitch and the spaces so you're it's all closed so it's a lot more work and a little more difficult whereas this one is so much easier i'm in the corner by the way guys of this green square so we've done our three double crochets you need to chain one always remember to chain one here now you've got your three co three corners you've got your two corners and the one you're in at the moment to remember where to put this part always remember to skip the first corner and jump into the next corner if you're not sure which one the actual corresponding corner is to you then just skip the first corner and jump into your next like so and pull a loop through like that chain one chain one to get into the corner chain one to get out of the corner and grabbing your very next square like so and all you're doing is starting the corner of that next square making sure your squares are on the right side remember okay we need to make sure they're all on the right side otherwise your blanket's going to look a little bit odd with one the wrong way around yeah okay now that's that i'm going to show you again you've done your corner there and there you go again when we come back around again we will sort out the rest of the corner but for now we're just going to jump turning a work around to help you straight into your very next opposite space with your slip stitch and then into your space with your cluster set now let me bring this out for you so you can see what i'm doing all right and see where i'm going Oops, nearly skipped one, didn't I? Almost. Okay, and there you go. I won't say this is super duper easy like I usually do because this, it's not easy. It, it, 
Well, kind of is. It's just memory. You've got to remember what you're doing and what stage of the blanket you are at. Okay. And this is your second. It's it's part two, but it's also your second stage of the blanket. Okay. Second stage of your join as you go. The first stage was starting, and the second stage was creating that join. And the third stage is locking the join up. Okay, and we're going to jump right in the next one. Nearly there. Starting your three double crochets in the first corner that you came to. Two and three. All right, let me show you where you are at. Okay, that is where you are at. Yes, perfect. Okay, now you're going to grab another square. Another square. All right, because you're going to need that in a minute. But for now, before you get it there, we're going to just hold this up a little. Do your corner. How do we do our corner? We start off by chaining one first. Yes, oops, chain one first. Now you've got your first corner there or your second corner. You need to go into the second corner or corresponding corner. And then you chaining one, grabbing your very next square. Remember not to leave all this too loose and do your normal cluster set one two and three okay jumping directly into your next space right there and doing your next oops oops ah oh it's all falling down off the table sorry guys and there you go now we're under control your next set <laughs> all right let me move all this over there that's better jump into your opposite side like so and doing your very next cluster set okay and into the next side and cluster set we're going to do that corner again and then I'm going to send you off on your own to do the rest I think you know what you're doing now whoops the rest of this side only <laughs> not the whole blanket we're not ready for that yet <laughs> okay and three oops slip slip stitching in there slip stitching get it right Mary we into your first corner of this square one two and three chain one all right so far, that's what you should have, all of that. Yes? So what I'm going to do is start you off with your next square, and then you're going to head off on your own. When you get to the very, very end of your last square, which will be there, all right? What I want you to do is join like normal. Let's get that out of the way. Join it like normal. I'm going to pop a stitch marker in this corner. I don't want you to do the corner, okay? When you get to here, do all your squares all the way over. Get to here, do this set right here. Wait for me there and I will meet up and I'll tell you what you're going to do next. All right, but in the meantime, we're just going to do this one join one more time so that you can see it and then you can head off on your own. Now, as you can see, I'm constantly turning my work. Okay, 
But remember, we don't join in that first corner. We join in the very next corner. Now, I've already chained my one. We join in that very next corner, like normal. Pull a loop through. Make sure it's not too loose. Chaining one. Starting your very next... Oh, I've got that that way, right there. Next double crochet. In your next square corner of your next square one two and three okay and from here you're jumping straight into your opposition there that's what I'm calling it <laughs> and our next set there and opposite again and your set all right I'm not going to go through the whole set for you I'm just going to leave it there and you're going to head off on your own and continue in that manner all whoops <laughs> the way across when you get to that square remember go all the way across do your second last cluster set and I shall meet you up Alrighty guys, this is where we are. Okay, you've been working along here. Whoops, went too far. And you got to your very last square. Alright, so with your last square, what I would like for you to do, this is the fun bit guys, because this is the bit you're going to learn that will help you uh, head off on your own and do the rest of your join as you go until you get to the end. Alright. All right, so there is your last bit there. Let's get another close up a little bit more. That's better. We'll take out that stitch marker. You don't need it there anymore. You will need it in a minute though. All right, so what I want you to do is start your three double crochets. Or start your corner, I should say. So pop your three double crochets in there. Alright, so here what I want you to do, because this is now the outside of our blanket. That is the end of one side of your blanket, okay? So as we've been doing all along where we're not joining, this one we are joining, okay? So let's get you a nice close-up of that corner. There's the corner the opposite, and this is the corner we're working on. You are chaining one. Then you are going to jump into your corner right there, pull a loop through, chain another one. Yes. Now leave that corner, jumping straight back into the corner you first started with, and finish off your corner. So do your three double crochets. Whoops. Two and three. Jumping into your next space with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Pull that up for a minute so I can show you what you've done. All right, and that's exactly what you have done. You have joined your side. That is one side that you are completing all the way through your join as you go one side of your blanket will be complete okay so we have done eight across eight this way now what we're going to do is join all eight together okay so what I would like for you to do is just turn your work around because this is the way you're going to be working now you're going to be working along there across here and over to here but what we're going to do going to pop a stitch marker in the space just before the corner because I'm not going to let you sit there and watch me do this bit I want you to crochet this like normal get to your corners your double cluster and your single clusters in each one get to this space right here and I shall meet you up alrighty guys how did you go yeah you should be there all right now this is the it's a little tricky this part but it's not impossible okay so let's just bring that up so you can see you need to pop a last 
cluster set before your corner one two and three okay now what we're going to do is jump into that corner remember we still have three in there so we need to put our start of that corner because the finals already finished so two and three now remember this part we are definitely chaining one okay I'm just going to chain one and pull the loop out to show you what we're going to do now now what we're going to do is we are going to turn our work this way only because it's easy for you to work this way it's a lot of turning I know but you know you'll get there now remember this opposite corner that I said to you we're going to be joining there are a lot of different ways people do this corner okay I'm still turning sorry uh, one is you pop your hook through underneath everything and pull that loop through or you pop it over everything and pull the loop through or you do it like I do it which is a little different to everybody <laughs> it really is when it comes to join as you go remember that chain stitch we did right there I like to pop my hook oh, let's start from the beginning you pop your hook here this is you don't have the loop in it yet you just pop your hook there in the corner of that one there and then most people under or over yours truly goes through the chain stitch that we made earlier and then you grab your loop and you pull it through the chain stitch and you pull it through to the corner that you're in you chain one all right now remember you finished that corner now haven't you but you haven't finished this corner so now what you're doing make sure you don't leave that too loose do a full cluster set in there so you do three double crochets to finish off your corner of course my yarn's all stuck <laughs> as you do okay two and three yes so let me show you what you've done what I might do is do that again for you so you can have another look see that is what you've done you've gone through there and you've gone over it and now you're going to slip stitch in there like normal we're going to do it again so I can show you remember you chained your one there already yes now let's go right over here you pop your hook in that loop through the chain stitch of your previous round I hope that went in there properly uh, yes it did through that chain stitch of your previous round hopefully yours isn't as tight as mine through to the loop on your hook well that was on your hook earlier pull it through your chain stitch pull it through to the loop that you are in chaining one chain one to get in chain one to get out that kind of thing jumping into your very next corner it's the um, opposite corner to the one you're working in okay with your three double crochets two and three okay you've seen that twice now so I reckon you're all right there now you just go back to the opposite side just normal like you're doing any other row and pulling your loop through like normal with a slip stitch jumping into your very next space one two and three pull up a loop jump into your next space with a slip stitch and then one whoops one <laughs> would help if you did it Mary <laughs> two and three let's pull that loop up for a minute just to show you what you've done I'm just gonna move everything back around again like as if we're looking at it through this is the way we came through just now yes and then we did this square so we have gone this way we have turned around and we're coming back so by the end of this section you should be right here but don't stress yet I'm not gonna worry about that yet <laughs> one thing at a time they say one thing at a time all right that is what you're looking at so you've got that little circle looking thing now this is one way of joining your squares um, next week I will pop up another couple of ways if you are 
you know find this one a little bit too difficult i'll pop up another couple of ways in the meantime for the rest of us who do want to continue with this join this is the join that i used on the actual pattern okay so that's why i wanted to keep this join however for the rest of us we're going to continue look at the way i have to hold it now <laughs> yep <laughs> it's really big now pop your hook in your opposite space there just continuing along with your side like you would any other side three and one in the opposite we're going to have a little bit of a change soon again well it's not a change i'm just going to crochet over my tail you don't need to do this if you don't want to and there you go oh no let's try that again excuse me <laughs> get it right mary and there's the tail in and we're done one two and three the opposite space right there we're coming to our corner which I will make a little bigger for you there you go that's, I'm sorry that's probably too close here you go that's better jumping straight into your corner two and three all right that's where you are now, remember before how we close that up? We're not going to close this up, and I'll explain why. Because we have another eight squares to join. All right? We have to leave that open. This is the end of one side, but we are still going along with our eight squares. Okay? When we get to the seventh row, then that's something totally different. But for now, this is what we're going to do so we're going to leave that section open okay so you're chaining two like normal one and two and you're going to put your last three double crochets in that space right there jumping straight into your very next space with your three double crochets two and three and that's that all right let me show you what you're going to do now all right so that's what you've done you've joined there you're going to grab your little stitch marker you're going to pop it in that space just before your corner again let me get a close-up of that space for you a little bit tricky that corner because it can almost not look like a corner so there's your corner and that's the space just before your corner can Bring that out again continue along there get to that stitch marker and i shall meet you up and show you this part one more time okay go ahead finish that section there and i'll meet you up all righty guys here we are at the end of this section as well let me blow that up for you let's pop out that stitch marker now i hope you were remembering to pop in your three two three in this corner it'll always be in that corner there yes hopefully you we're remembering to do that okay now from here this is the way you're working you're going to pop your cluster set in the space before the corner like normal okay now you're going to jump straight into the corner like normal so you're putting in your three double crochets one two and three chain one pull up a loop you don't have to pull it up that high i just pull it up that high so i don't lose it all right so now what you've got to do turn your work around because you want to pull that loop through there don't you all right so let's get a nice close-up of it Ooh, turn it around a bit more sorry and then you are going into that loop right there that space right there and of course you are popping your hook through the chain stitch of that section there this is what a lot of people don't do this is what I do okay I found it a little bit more secure and it keeps it nice and sturdy when you pull your loop through 
pull it through to that space, chain one, and now you are jumping into that corner there and finishing off. You've got the three, you need to pop in another three in that corner, three double crochets, one, oops, I'll just split the yarn there, good on you there, two, and three, pull up that loop a little tiny bit, not much, just so you can jump into your opposite, okay, your opposite side that you just worked on, yes, Laxel. And cluster in your very next space. One, two, and three. Pull up that loop. All right. So there you go. Bring that out a bit. And there you go. All right. It looks like you've come over and across because that's the look we're going for. All right. If you were to do the other join that we did a couple of years ago in your granny square join and you're welcome to undo all of this and do the other join, you won't see all of that. Everything will lay flat. Okay, but this to me is fairly flat and I like it and it gives a little bit of an open look so it's not a complete tight, tight look. Okay, because we've already got that nice bold look tight bold look from our uh, sunburst squares so now we want to give it that nice openness of the sunburst coming out I don't know if it makes any sense I you know have an imagination in my head that's really weird and I hope that you guys get it <laughs> I hope you do now guess what guess what I am not going to do this for you that's it I think you're on your own for a little while <laughs> what they're all saying no don't do this to us yes let's do it okay i'm not going to put this stitch marker there and do that no you know what you're doing now go around do it get through if you're not sure copy it copy what i just showed you now keep going all the way across get to now this is what i want you to do i want you to do this corner get here do the whole side get to this side right here don't do the corner all right that's all you need to do and uh, I shall meet you back here fairly soon or not fairly soon it's quite a bit to do <laughs> but I'll meet you back here in a moment good luck guys all righty guys here we go how did you go that took us so long didn't it it took so so long <laughs> it took like forever <laughs> all right so where do you head off from here I hear you ask your very next row okay before we go ahead with our very next row I'm giggling because look what we have we have that spare piece from earlier now I don't know whether you have weaved in that end and I do apologize once again in advance we won't be using this and I might end up cutting this we'll see I'm not going to be using it anyway because it's only one thread but um, yeah, take it undone. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, guys. You know what? I had another join in mind. And if I'm smart enough, I should leave it for the other join to show you guys next week. But I'd rather not. I'd rather start from the beginning. Um, you think I can get this undone? <laughs> Let's put this on fast motion, shall we? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. That'll do. <laughs> that should do it. There you go. <laughs> I'm not going to be using it anyway. So take it all undone. You will need this square anyway. This might have, I might have trouble taking this undone because I think I weaved that end in. Oh dear, I did too. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, I did too. <laughs> oh dear. See, I told you when I weave my ends in, they're far too difficult to come undone. Now I'm going to try and get this cut this without damaging the green oh I'm so scared oh I'm about to cry <laughs> I can't get that done. see what happens when I weave in my hands <laughs> oh here we go here we go we're nearly there we're nearly there, <laughs> there you go. almost damaged my square <laughs> all right so that's done there we go and now we have a perfectly good square to add 
to the very next round. Now, why am I showing you this now? Because after this next few minutes, you're going to head off on your own. Period. <laughs> For the next hmm, one, two, how many rows we say? We have, we've got eight down and seven across. <laughs> so there's your eight. One, two, three. Let me do this properly for you so you can see. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have one, two, three, four, five rows to do exactly what we've done here, but from this section onwards, okay? Because you've done the first bit, you know what you've done with the first bit, you don't even have to worry about this first bit till the very end end of your joining okay what you do need to worry about is doing this part here that you've gotten all the way up to here again on the other side now I'll show you how to do it and then I'll leave a little time thing up there later showing you where to go back to continue okay so I don't know why I picked up my weaving needle there all right let's get into that last bit that we did or that you did okay now that they're all joined take out your stitch marker yarn over your hook pop it in your corner and you are only doing three double crochets in this corner why because if you remember correctly what you did before you chained your two and then you turned that's what we're going to do here chain one and two Let's have a look what we are so you know what you're doing and then we're going to turn and join the very next square going down that way all right so turn your work a little bit grabbing your next square okay popping your three double crochets in that square all right there let's get a blow up there for you how's that so take that out yes you've chained your two and you're just going to pop your three double crochets in your next square one two and three whoops and three okay now don't go this way because you're only going to confuse yourself stay where you are Yes, think about going to the opposite side. So turning your work around and now you are working along this way. Okay, if, it, if you want to work like that, you can. It doesn't really matter how you work. It's whatever is comfortable for your hands. And that one wasn't comfortable for my hands. So I'm going to work the way I usually do, which is forward. And there you go jumping straight into your very next space whoops with your three double crochets funnily enough it's always the second cluster set that I have trouble with once I start and get into the next spot which is there the rest of the row comes easy but it's the second cluster set that just annoys me <laughs> and I think I've gone over some thread under there and I'll have a look in a minute doing my cluster set and I'm not gonna let's have a look did I go over the thread oh no I didn't that's good all right so I'm not gonna let you watch me do this okay because I think you pretty much know what you're doing all right now that's your third one let's just pretend that you're doing your third one that's your fourth that's your fifth that's your sixth and that's your seventh right let's pretend that you are now on your seventh your there but on your seventh you're going down that way all the way with all your squares yes then you are going to get to the very well that's upside down for starters to the very end of your square let's just say that's the seventh what i want you to do when you get to the end that corner right there before you turn and do anything just pop your stitch marker there and wait for me there like that until we get to part mm, three of <laughs> the tutorial so part two is complete 
all right and I will leave a time up the top that you need to go back to to start from here so you'll be starting from here and you'll be working your way around okay and then you go back to here when you're doing your next square you're starting from here again and you're working your way around it's the time where we started that row right there so it makes it a lot easier for you you don't have to keep watching me do row after row you just go back to this point and I will put the time of this point here right up there now so if you don't want to watch that last five minutes of blocking you can go ahead and continue your rows remember however when you get to your very last seventh square okay seventh square seventh row whatever you want to call it seventh row at the end of all your squares when you've joined all your squares your last square will end up here that you need to join to this one here all right don't worry about joining just get to that spot right there and I will meet you back here on part three okay this Saturday morning's live at 10 a.m. and Wednesday afternoon's live at 4 p.m. this week. I will have parts of this done for you. So you can have a better look um, at what it looks like um, when it's all done. If you are watching this video in six months time, I'll pop the live that we are going to see this part done in a description box down below. So you can actually go back and have a look at that live and see the blanket. It'll be the first few things you see in the live anyway the first five minutes ten minutes this is what you'll see in that live all right those lives I should say because they're gonna be both of them and join me back here now let's see Monday we have our giveaway results video coming up so I won't be doing a video on Monday Tuesday is my business day so there won't be a video upload Tuesday Wednesday is our midweek live so no video then so your first video that you will see will be Thursday on that day, we will do part three of this tutorial. I'm giving myself a, a bit of a break between these rows so I can finish off my rows for you. So on Thursday, you know exactly what you need to do for part three. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys already do for me. If you have any questions about this particular uh, join as you go please leave them in the comment section down below in the meantime good luck joining your squares together and I shall see you Thursday for part three or on our live this Saturday <laughs> and stick around if you want to see the last five minutes of the washing and the blocking of a square good luck guys and I'll see you soon ciao for now